Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me explain it to you. First of all, here's what we're going to talk about. What is porn-induced erectile dysfunction? Is it real? And how can I avoid it or back myself out of it? Okay, number one. What is erectile dysfunction that is induced by pornography? The science on this one is absolutely terrifying. So this is what's found in a nutshell, is that even as as soon as 10 years ago, there was a lot less erectile dysfunction and it was always in older people. What the science shows is there is a lot more and it is in younger people. So that is absolutely terrifying. And what is happening is as you, young or old, go back to the screen and consume pornography, what is happening is it is giving your brain this massive neurochemical release of a Molotov cocktail of many different neurochemicals. Primarily, it is the neurochemicals of seeming pleasure and of pain reduction. So it makes your brain feel good. It makes your brain feel numb. It helps you escape from the stressors of the world. But what it's doing is it's flooding your central nervous system, which is primarily your brain and your spinal cord, but we're going to talk about your brain. So your brain is getting flooded with these neurochemicals and it is frying out the reward center. And we know this from science, science proves this. So basically the more you consume, more consistently, frequently, more intensity, the reward center in your brain is adapting. And over time you need more and more and more to get the same level of reward in your brain. So what that actually does is it desensitizes your brain. So you have to keep going back for more frequency, more consistency, more intensity, more, 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 which will continue to fry out your brain. Then what happens is that's your central nervous system. So then there's a trickle down effect to your peripheral nervous system. And you guessed it, it is in your nether region. So when you are engaging in pornography and you're coupling it with a masturbation habit, which we know is primarily the way that porn is consumed, and and actually it's better to be in a PMO habit of masturbation and orgasm, not better than actual real sex, but better than edging, which I discuss in a different video. But what happens is then by over consuming of masturbation and orgasm, you're basically frying out the nerves in your penis. I said it, it's out there. So what that means is you are frying your central nervous system in your brain and you are frying the nerves in your penis. So people will joke on the comments like, oh yeah, yeah, how long does it take my brain to heal from pornography? What about my junk? It's true, it's totally true and the science shows that you will desensitize the nerves in your penis also. So your brain and your nether region will also have to recuperate. So when you leave the habit behind, what happens is your brain recalibrates, your reward system in your brain, thank goodness, can come back online using neuroplasticity. We can break that negative feedback loop that you're in, which means that your brain gets more and more neurochemicals, which then makes it so that the reward system in the circuitry is distorted and not working, it's dysregulated, you need more and more. When we break that negative feedback loop, because then you have to have more masturbation and more orgasm, gives you all these problems, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. When we pattern interrupt and we unwire that pattern, rewire a new healthy pattern, which I've made lots of videos on, and hardwire in the new better pattern, what happens is your brain comes back online and your penis comes back online and it will heal. Thank goodness, the nerves will regenerate, they will begin to heal, and they will go back to being sensitized like they were before, and you won't need this incredible level of neurological stimulation in your brain and in your penis. It is, it's twofold. So let's bring us back to, that's how erectile dysfunction happens. It's 
central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. You need to back it out and it will come back online as the desensitization process changes and your, your brain and your body recalibrate. How can you help that come along faster? Breaking the habit and then engaging in healthy sexuality and trying to get your brain to become aroused to a human being when you are in the absence, the void that will be there from the screen that you used to be going to. So if you have a partner, you can engage in healthy sexuality. Even if you have erectile dysfunction, you can have intimacy and shared sexual experiences to try to rewire your brain in that direction. If you don't, you want to seek out connection and stay away from isolation and let your body and brain heal. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And if you need help on this journey, please visit my website at drtrishley.com. I'm here for you. I'm down for it. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.